name is Sarah and I work at Eureka, the National Children's Museum and I am an enabler and today I thought I'd come and read you all a story and we can all enjoy it together. I have got The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. So let's have a read. Have a look inside. Oh, this is the front cover. You can see the tiger there. Let's have a read. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. That's Sophie and her mummy having their tea. I wonder who's at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who it can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy as he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. <gasps> Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm really hungry. Do you think I could come and have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. Oh. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry, so Sophie passed him the buns. Hmm. Oh no. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the jug and all the tea in the teapot. <gasps> oh no. Drinking everything. And he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Hmm, what else is he going to find? He ate all the supper cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. Oh no. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. He's a cheeky tiger there. Hmm. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Oh, cheeky. He then said, thank you for my, my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found that she couldn't take her bath as the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and Mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. That sounds good. So they went out into the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case a tiger should ever come to tea again. <gasps> but he never did. <gasps> and that was the tiger who came to tea. Can you imagine if a tiger came to your house? What do you think you might feed the tiger? And what's your favourite food? And thank you all for listening. Everybody stay safe and I'll see you soon. <laughs>